Pessoal. sent money to me. Stating that Julius, my husband, sent money to me, Rosemary. Since you can do what you have done to us. 
I don't understand what is happening here. Can someone please explain to me? Don't you? ever pretend. Don't ever pretend you don't know what you have done. What is it? Get out! Ah, oh, Mama. Please don't do that now. Shut up! What has she done? Give her that letter to read. Give her the letter. This is not true, Mama. Papa, believe me, I've not, I've not received any letter from my husband or any money. I've even been trying to reach him, but I, I, I've not been able to do that. Indeed, you've not been able to do that. My son sent money to you. You pocketed it. Me fully the situation in the house. Me and saying with you could not go back to school because of money. Yet you had in your heart and pocketed the whole money. And you told me to greet me. It is not true. Please believe me, eh? Ask Miriam. She lives with me and she knows how hard times have been with us. If not for the sewing I do, Junior will not be able to go to school. Papa, but that Jesus has not sent her any money. I know it. Shut up. Are you telling us that your brother who, who wrote this letter is a liar? I'm not saying he's a liar. Will you shut up that your mouth before I bend it for you? I'm not going to look at it. Will you shut up that mouth? I know. Where's Mary? Out. Get out of my house. You know, and I think you're fine. Out. Papa? You mean after all these years you cannot even vouch for me? Even at times like this, nobody can vouch for a snake. Rosemary, you are a green snake in green grass. Do you understand me? You, you, you bring in food here and pretend that you're good to cover up your wickedness. Please get out of my house. Mama, even you, after everything I've done for you, what have you done for me? Eh? My son sent money to you to give to us. You just literally use little to cook for us and bring food here. You want me to be happy with you. Each time I see you, I'll be dancing. I'll be jumping off. I'll be jubilating. Why you are there enjoying alone? Rosemary, leave my house. Get out. Take it easy. what is he? Get out. Are you still there? Don't leave out of my house. Get, get out. out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Oh, can't you hear me? I said, get out of my house. Get out. Get out. All right. I will go. God who sees in the dark and knows the heart of all man will vindicate me. Do you know God? Do you know God? Listen, I've been a deacon for over 10 years. And when I see a wicked person, I will know. Yes. Rosemary, you are wicked. I will go with you. If you if you leave that this house, I'll show you. That you will come here, Job. Get out, Job. Get out of this house. Get out, get out, please. Go, go, go. Get out. 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 And if you leave this house, I will. I will. Maria, will you come back here? Maria, come here. Oh, yeah. I will post for you here. No, she's going with her. She will enter this house again. You the idiot. Thank you. You can come here. You pass me with nonsense. You pocketed all the money my, 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 my son sent from abroad. I fought to quiet her. You have to take heart. God knows that you are innocent of all these accusations, but one thing is certain, and that is that in the end, he will prove them wrong. Pastor, look at me. Look at me trying to make ends meet, and I'm being accused of hiding away money. But how can my husband say he sent down money when he did it?
Are you serious? I'm not finding it comfortable. If you are going to talk to me like this in my own house, then I will have to throw both of you out. Yes. Throw us out. Throw us out. Let the other people hear our voices. 
Yes, Ezafo yes. has always had your voice. Hmm. And this will not be the first or the last time. Why wouldn't you talk? I know you will talk. Mm -hmm. You have been buying the, the latest wrappers in the market. Mm. Shoes and bags. Yes. Are you hungry? You are not. Because your daughter is bringing in my son's money. <laughs> and you are enjoying it. Get out. Get out. Women! Get out. Get out. I said, both of you, get out. You will eat our money. I said, get out. You will do that. You will do that. You Count yourself lucky because I am in a good mood today. I would have shown you that I am still a Kenna, ex military man, World War II veteran. <laughs> Look at this, Alika. Look at this praying mantis, Ungwane. You are calling yourself an ex veteran. Somebody that went to do boy boy to soldier during the war. You are not calling yourself ex veteran. Uh, eh? Listen, you are not to kill somebody. You have forgotten me. Eh? Hey! You have forgotten me. The cat. You have forgotten. You have forgotten the village of the champion. You have forgotten her can now. You have forgotten. And let me remind you of something. The child that will not fear a hole. His hands will teach him the mysteries of the snake. Yes. Be careful, because I've been watching after you in this village. I come after you. Okay, can you threaten me? Exactly that. You are threatening me. Do not tell me. You are forgotten. Huh? You have forgotten me. You have forgotten me. Mrs. Him, let us go. Let us go. 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 Calling yourself a butterfly, ex veteran. You didn't want to do what you knew. Would you give me a car and talk about or not? Oh, 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 Selling one of my sewing machines just to survive okay? and even take care of my in laws. Eziafo, Eziafo, tell her to release the money my, my son sent to us from Obodo Yibo. Eziafo, tell her to release the money my son sent to, to, for us to Obodo Yibo from Obodo Yibo. Uh, Rosemary, Rosemary, I will show you. <laughs> I will not allow you to. 
to rest. I must show you. You know what I can do? Calm down, calm down. Just calm down. Look, I will give your husband Julius the letter which you gave to me. But uh, God's willing, in three days time I'll be in Germany. Take this. Take care of yourself and your child. Thank you very much. Just be careful. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you. It's okay.
Rosemary! Since you said you sent money to Ross through your wife, we've not gotten cobble. Daddy, 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 hold on, please, hold on. I mean, what are you talking about? You mean you've not gotten any money at all? Not even half. Sheesh, we did not see anything. Who did you say you sent the money to? Well, I sent the whole money to my wife through her, her, her friend, Susan. In fact, on the whole, I sent about More than half a million naira. Five hundred thousand naira. Five hundred thousand naira. Half a million. Correct. Oh, if we. Okay, CJ. Oh, thousand naira. My son, we did not receive anything. Nothing. <laughs> what happened then? I mean. What must have gone wrong? Hey! This Susan, she used to come here and she told us she had given your wife some money. But your wife did not even release ten kubo to us. Not even she. Hey! So Ada, um... I don't know what else to say to you, you know, because it, it, it is so hard to be you know, losing your husband just like that. I know you don't know that, but... I mean, we're all affected by his death. I'm sorry, you know. I'm sorry about what happened, you know. 
take heart. We will all die someday. Please take heart. God knows the best. Brother, I'm very sorry to say this to you because Rosemary is a wife. I will never ever forgive her for keeping back the money he sent to me to take my husband to the hospital. He may have lived, but... It's alright, it's okay. It's alright. I mean, I, I feel bad too, you know. Sorry, please, please, stop crying. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Mary kept the money you sent for us. You see, you see that, that woman? She was bringing in men like no man's land, even in front of John. Are you sure about this? Yeah. Are Am you I sure? sure? Am I sure? I saw it with my own eyes. With your friend kissing and hugging the sons. You see that girl? She's a prostitute. A prostitute. All right. See you later. See, I need you to look good for daddy, okay? So that when he comes back, he will see that you're going to be a big boy, alright? Tell daddy to buy me a mask. Exactly, that's what you're going to do, alright? How you're going to welcome the wife you've not seen for all these years? Where are you coming from? I went to see Pastor Sam, and when I got there, somebody said you were already back. So I went to the market to buy things to cook for you. <laughs> same pastor, <laughs> this same pastor. So it's true. It is true, that pastor. And you bring other men also into my house in front of my little boy. Wait a minute. Is this a joke or something? Go ahead and look at the picture. Tell me what you see in there. Uh, uh, I'd like us to take some pictures. No, no, why not? Okay. okay. If you're ready, I'm ready. No, it's okay. 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 Uh-huh. Um, let's... Okay. Let's, uh, yeah. Oh, you want to this way? Yes, right? yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. okay. Closer, closer. Come on, say Jesus. Jesus! <laughs> Darling. Pastor Sam was in my shop when Susan came, so she insisted to pose for a photograph, and we did. What about the other men? What about the other men you're dating and you're bringing them into this house? Tony, you're going too far with this. You're pushing this too far. Is this how you want me to welcome you back? Anyway, please, let's go inside. Then we'll eat. Then after that, we'll discuss whatever is on your mind. You think I'm a fool, huh? You think I don't know? You think I haven't heard all you've been doing in this house? How you been hauling around the whole place? How have you been hauling around What is it? Don't say anything like that. What is it? Papa, 
It is Julius O. Oh, your husband. Yes, is he back? Yes, Papa. He came back today. Papa, me, I don't know what I did to his family. They accused me of so many things I don't know anything about. Julius could not even allow me to explain anything. He started beating me and finally threw June and I out of the house. <laughs> Stop crying, Rosemary. Stop crying and listen to me. I don't know what is between you and your husband. So I can't say anything now except that you go back to him and sort things out with him. Yes. Papa, I said Julius beat me and threw Junior and I out of the house and you are telling me you don't have anything to say. Rosemary, I said go back to him. He's your husband. Your own choice of a husband. Papa, me, I don't want to go back to the house this night, oh. Uh, uh, I don't want to go back to the house this night. Rosemary, you will go back to that house this night. Remember that I refused you to marry him initially. But you insisted. You threatened to kill yourself. Agreeing to bear the consequences should the marriage not work. Well, this is it, Rosemary. I wish for your own sake that the marriage works. Good night. For even you. Everybody rejected me, even you. Good night, Rosemary. Okay, we'll go. Junior, your grandfather said we should leave the house, so let us go. <laughs> let us go! <laughs> Now, Rose, I heard your voice. Who were you talking to? Mm, that was uh, Rosemary, your daughter. Where is she? I asked her to go. She, she came here saying that uh, she had a problem with her husband and uh, the man threw her out. Uh, and I told her to go back. Now, how could you do a thing like that? You should have allowed her to spend the night here. Eh? It's not fair. Has she gone far? Rosemary! I waited for you for such a long time, keeping my body and soul. I remain faithful just for you, waiting for your return. I gave you all the love I could give I love you so much I did the best that I can But you hurt me And this haunts me
Samuel. You must be Brother Julius. Actually, uh, Sister Rosemary was with me in church when she was told that you had just come back. So, I decided to come over and say hello to you. So, you are the pastor who's been having an affair with my wife? You? Excuse me. Get out. Excuse me, Brother Julius. I'm not your brother. Get out of here. Oh, wait a minute. I don't understand what you're talking about. Your wife, Sister Rosemary, by the help of the Holy Spirit, has always remained faithful to you. Brother Julius, Shut why up! Are you to... You even have the guts to come to my house. Wait for me. Here, yeah, just stay here and wait for me. Brother Julius, what is this supposed to be? Wait for me. Honey, that is the man that slipped into me. That's it. Right? That's him. Stupid man, let me see in this house again.
What do you mean by difficult time? Like madness must be the man in Who is smart? I'm the right. Loss. Ah, leave me alone now. Ah. Loss, I kill you. Leave me alone. Ah. Ah. Stop this. Ah. Stop this. Ah. Stop this. Ah. Loss, take care of this boss. Why is she not wearing her uniform? I'm sorry, Doctor. I took the uniform to drive me. Has she been examined? No. Uh, doctor, what do you do about the woman's son? You can take me. Alright, boy. How are you? How are you? on my leg. I'm not mad now. Nurse. Hey. What what is ha what is happening here? I'm not mad now. Nurse, I said I'm not mad. Did you tell them I'm not mad?
Mr. Rosemary, Junior. Where have you been? Jesus, what happened? They Junior, took, what happened? They took her, they took money to the room of my They gave her injection. What? Is it true? Who took you there? Okay, please, come, 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 come. This way. This way, please. Come. Come on, sit down. Rosemary, you must be strong. I want you to take heart and try and forget everything that happened. Remember, God, whom we serve, will surely vindicate you. Just away. What have I done to everybody that they treat me like this? What have I done to everyone to deserve what they did to me? What did I do? Even my own parents, Pastor, my own parents. In spite of all I did for my husband's people, they maltreated me and didn't even trust me. So 
so sad. My own friend Susan. She's dropped a knife right into my heart. How can I forget? But this is too much for one person to bear. Ah, um, Sister Rosemary, don't worry. God will surely vindicate you. You can stay here for the meantime while I try and get in touch with your husband with a view to making him see reasons, okay? And to think that I, Rosemary, am homeless, even in my own village. No, 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 Sister Rosemary, you are not homeless. <laughs> this is home for you, okay? Um, this way, please. Let's go in. If you don't come. This way. Let's go. This is too much for me to take. For you for such a long time, keeping my body and soul, I remain faithful just for you, waiting for your return. I gave you all the love I could give, I love you so much, I did the best. I I will let them know that we have our 
one cannot lie against Miriam. I know that. Why are you hasty in deciding? You know this, Susan. I know what she's capable of doing. The other day I came to your house, she couldn't even allow me in. She couldn't even open the door for me to come and sit down. And you are, you are here, Sirena. I have a strong feeling that Susan is worse than Rosemary. I see. I see. So it is true that you people don't like Susan. It's obvious. But then, Mama, you asked for it. How? But Mama, you asked for it. Hey. Yes, you asked for it. When Rosemary was here, you people cooked up all sorts of terrible lies against her. So I kicked her out. Now she's out and somebody else is in, you have started again. You don't want to give us the chance to live in peace. Mama, I am sick. I am tired. I've had it up to this point. You are trying to control me. Listen, I, I don't want to get upset with you. So please, go. Me to leave your house. Yes. Go. Let me have peace. Hey, what you doing here? To bring us home. How can my own son ask me to leave his house? Hey! Julius, I suffered for you. I made you somebody. I made you what you are today. I carried you in my room for good nine months. I know what it took me to train you up to this level. And you're asking me, your mother, to leave your house because of a woman. Makawan. No one. No one. All right. I will leave your house. But you will always remember this day. Mark it. Jesus. You asked me, your good mother. She leaves. I'll go in there first and collect my money. Then you can go in later and arrest her. What kind of bullshit talk is that, man? If you go in there, you'll only alert the girl. So what will happen to my own money? Well, I didn't see any other way. Meaning what? Meaning you should remember that I, I traced her way so and informed you. So what? You should allow me to settle my matter first with yes, her. Please, let's give him 30 minutes, let him go in. Then we'll, we'll, we'll go with him. 30 minutes is not much. What on earth will he be doing with 30 minutes inside it that? It will not be much. Let's just allow him. Listen, man, this man is going to allow that girl, and I don't want my money to fly through that window. Just be patient. Please, be snappy.
Yeah. Please, my husband locked my checkbook in his bedroom, in his wardrobe. He's sure he will come back tomorrow for For what? For what? Go and get me my money now! Relax. Relax for what? You have a contract. Papa said I will not give you your money. Then pay me my money. Pay me my money. I need my money now. I know you've always desired me. Hey, stop, stop that rubbish. What do you mean? Leave this thing you are doing and get me my money. It's important for me to me now. Please. Don't, don't touch me, please. Ah, what is it? Come on. Will you stop that? My money is important. Stop. Ah, what is it? My money. I need my money. Go and get my money. It's okay. It's okay. Then hold on. Can you move? Sit down, be fast, be fast. I need the money now. Okay. No sense. You think you can say this me and go with my money? Sergeant, yes. that man has been gone for more than 30 minutes now. What do you feel like? Let's go. I think we should go in there now. Let's go. In. Hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. 
Who is this contractor? I mean, who came Sergeant. here? Sergeant! Where is the contractor? That's his folder. That's the kitchen. Where is he? Too many contractors, you know. Nobody came here. Corporal, search this place. Everywhere. Can someone tell me what is going on? I told you this woman, this bitch is dangerous. I told you. What's going on? without women <laughs> if I didn't witness things myself I wouldn't have believed it if anybody had told me all these things I wouldn't believe but I saw things for myself Susan, I knew there was something about this girl. I tried to warn you, but you wouldn't listen. Well, let's forget about the past and see how we can salvage this matter. So, Julius, you mean she confessed to you that she did not give to Rosemary all that money you sent? Yes, that she did. She confessed. She used all the money that I gave her for the family and Rosemary to build her own house back in her own village. Hey. Tell My Rosemary. My good old Rosemary. Just imagine the way I treated her because I was deceived. I mean, I was misled. Oh. Hmm. What pains me most is the way I treated that girl. She was so nice to me. Look at the way we pick quarrels with her parents. How do I save my face, God? How do I save my face? Ah. No. Jesus, you must go and look for that girl. You must go and look for Rosemary. We all owe her apologies. All of us. That is exactly what I intend to do. Well, um, I, uh, I am looking for Rosemary and my son, so I was wondering if they came here. She, she, she wouldn't be here. You took her as your wife. Why would she be here? In that case, where is she then? Where? Wait a minute. Is there something you are trying to let me know? 
Good evening. How are you? Fine. No, sir. I. Uh, uh, there's nothing except that we we had a slight quarrel, you know, just a minor disagreement, and she left my house with my child. So, I was just thinking. Julius. Yes, sir. I gave you my daughter. You should know where she is, and not the other way around. Good night. Good night. Good night, sir. Good night. Nine. What is he saying about Rosemary? Situation to everything I have said. Hey, Nay, I didn't know that my daughter has gone through this lot. You didn't tell me. You only told me that she had a little problem with her husband. Pastor. Yes. Thank you for what you've just told me. However, it is not too late. Go and bring her back. I will take her back. After all, she's my daughter. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Thank you very much, sir. I, I wish I had come earlier. I, I am sure she would like to come home to you. I was oh, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Pastor. Thank you. So it's so hard for me to Felt like dying, but the Lord carried me through. I want rat poison. Do you have it? Yes, I have it. I have it. A very strong one. Chemist, can this one kill a person? Can it kill a human being? No, 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 no. Let me, let me bring the one that can kill.
as outcasts and lunatics. And I can't continue like this. Since you sit up there and watch them treat us like this and not do anything, and they're not accepting us, please accept us when we come. In Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, brother. Well, God bless you. How is the day? Fine, sir. Okay. Excuse me, Pastor. Excuse me. Yes. Okay. Please go in. There is something I want to tell you. Sister Rosemary came in here and purchased a rat poison. Rat ah, poison. Uh huh. What, what? What about that? There are rats everywhere. Pastor. Yes. You see, she wanted to know if the poison can kill. So what is wrong with that chemist? Oh dear chemist. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Pastor. Pastor.
what am I living for? <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. How can I live without Rosemary and Junior? I can't. <laughs> How can I say goodbye? God, I can't. Now, wait for me. Rosemary, wait for me. You and Judy, I'm coming to join you. Wait for me. Julius, he loves you. Glory, hallelujah. I thank God for sparing your life. I thank him for your life. I thank God for your life. Why, Pastor? How can I go on living? I can't live without Rosemary. I can't live with Junior. What a living. Well, listen, Brother Julius. He wants to do it again for you. He is steadfast. He loves you. He loves you. He wants to do a new thing in your life. That makes him God which he is. A man who refuses to acknowledge his shadows denies his existence. You must pull yourself together. Pull yourself together and face the situation at hand. We all must go to again and inform him of his daughter's death. Yes, we will inform him. After all, what must be done? What must be done? Yes, I agree with you. Uh, Master Keke, Jesus, listen. This situation, if not properly handled, can lead to a problem that will transcend generations. And we must not allow that. I suggest we we'll go and inform a candidate that we are going to see him. why we refuse to eat or drink here is because we are, we are with heavy heart. Heavy heart in the sense that our good thing we came here and took away. We did not take care of. We have lost it. our good in law. We have come here to inform you that your daughter a good wife is dead. Hey! Bah! Okay. When did this happen? <clears throat> did you say our daughter is dead? Yes. How did she die? What killed her? It's okay, say something. We heard 
that she drank poison and died. You heard. You are not even sure. <clears throat> Where did she die? I think in the pastor's house. You think? You are still thinking. You are not sure. Okay, now you listening. Carlo. Why in the pastor's house? <laughs> she went there to uh, pray and maybe and then died. I can't tell. Look, where are the bodies of my daughter and my grandson so that I can see them? Julius, where are the bodies? Actually, I, I don't know, but the pastor should know. Hey, no, I don't know. No, I don't know. This, no, 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 Come it's down. my niece sit that down. is involved. You're talking sit about down. her. Please sit down. Please sit down. You better tell her something. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Mm. Sit down please. <clears throat> hey. My in laws. I have a number of questions to ask. And these questions will widen the scope of our knowledge on this issue. One. Why is everything revolving around that pastor? <laughs> Two, was the pastor, the person who came and married our sister, our daughter, Rosemary? Three, why did our daughter die in, in, in the pastor's house? Four, why was it that pastor, and not even Julius, that knows the whereabouts of our own daughter, Rosemary. When we think in line with these questions, we get convinced. We feel that there is something secret yet undisclosed that's to true. us. That's true. Yes, something secret and undisclosed to us. That's true. Okay, okay. Which end? Go home. By the time you do so, come back and tell us what has happened to our daughters. Ifika, let us go. Look, I'll tell you that you have stepped on the trail. Okay, I can now. We are really very, very sorry. This is not the best of time for us to say we are sorry. Please, if we think of all the things I said before, I should have said them. But we are sorry on behalf of myself and my family. Please forgive us. Please. I'm even ashamed of myself. I'm ashamed of myself. I mean, I've also asked God to take my life, but He wouldn't do that. I killed Rosemary and our child because of my attitude towards her. I'm sorry. Please find space in your heart to forgive me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Go with your son. Come back tomorrow evening and let's discuss this matter. If it is the will of God that my daughter is dead, <laughs> well, let it be. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. My in-laws, I asked you to come so that uh, we'll uh, discuss what to do for Rosemary. In life, we all make mistakes. What is bad is not correcting the mistakes. I have discussed with my family and uh, we have decided to forgive. I have also prevailed on Rosemary to forgive. You have prevailed on him to forgive? No, he's referring to her spirit. No, no, no. I'm referring to Rosemary in the flesh. Uh -huh. uh, Pastor, yes. please tell them. Um, Praise the Lord. Um, Dickie and Mrs. Okeke, 
Brother Julius, I must say that it was the Lord's doing. This was exactly what happened on that day. God, why? Why, God? Why did you allow this to happen, God? Why? Why? Chemist, what is that to explain? Tell me. <laughs> when Sister Rosemary came in and asked of a stronger rat poison, I suspected something. <laughs> Instead of a rat poison, I gave her some mixture capable of inducing sleep. I usually sell it to the psychiatrist, and the liquid knocks one off instantly. Jesus! Chemist, you mean they are not dead? Yes, Pastor. God, Lord, I thank you. Father, be glorified. Lord, I thank you. I thank you, Lord. Now, chemist, come. Listen to me. Yes, sir. You must not inform anyone. Did you hear me? Yes, you must not inform anyone. I will take them to their parents right away. Yes, Did you hear me? Yes, sir. Good. I tried to inform him. I mean, Brother Julius to come here and see Rosemary. Unfortunately, that was the day he attempted suicide. In the end, we did everything quiet. Uh, Mama Rosemary. Nice. My nose. What I'm trying to say is that Rosemary is alive. Yes, I'm alive. We are alive. Oh. 